All right, we're gonna do this a second time. A um, lot more instead of a thin line because I don't trust the thin line. We're gonna do more generous throughout this whole. I don't care if it gets into the water system yet. That's not what I really care about. We just want to know it holds. Let it sit by itself. Okay. Inside, little twisters. I let it sit for even 10 minutes so people won't cry about this test or even I won't cry and we give it the benefit of the doubt, so. All right, so it's about five, seven minutes now. And then once we crank this up, since this gauge is broken, we have a real gauge. We're gonna be testing it afterwards if it holds. So we find this. Now we're gonna put this gauge on here. Up to. Oh, oh my God, almost 100 PSI. That's virtually how much I could only pump in there. Um, if you look at that, right there, we're actually holding close to 100 PSI. Anyway, what we're trying to say is it does hold um, very interesting enough. This is such a small sample, we don't really know. I'd say if you want to use it in a bind, it will help you. I don't know if it's NSF safe or if you can drink, drink it, whatever it is. Um, but if you want to put copper together and you don't want to solder, this is another way to have clean joints. And if you want to have like maybe copper architecture, right? So remember that, that's called the copper lock.